Months before a door plug blew off midair, this Alaska Airlines plane rolled off the floor here at Boeing's 737 factory. It's where a subsequent audit found the plane maker failed to comply with quality control requirements meant to keep that plane safe. At the factory, there are multiple layers of inspection handled by groups with different responsibilities and limitations. There's a direct correlation between the quality in the factory and the quality of the plane in service. And the Alaska accident is a dramatic example of that. Boeing was given 90 days to present regulators with a plan to fix its quality control issues. To understand what those issues are, let's look at each layer of Boeing's quality process. First, Boeing's own quality inspectors. When a plane is being assembled inside the factory, there, generally speaking, are different types of inspection. Boeing's team of quality control inspectors are in place to perform checks and tests on mechanics' work. Boeing has, in the past, eliminated some of these inspections and put mechanics in charge of checking their own work. But the company said self-inspection now accounts for only a small percentage of inspection methods. You may do a great job, but you may have days where you don't do a great job, and not having that quality control person there looking over your shoulder can be a real problem. Ed Pearson worked in Boeing's Renton plant for three years before becoming a whistleblower after the deadly 737 MAX crashes. He raised concerns about quality problems he saw during his time at the factory. Bottom line is the 737 factory needs to be thoroughly investigated. Including work that happens out of the production line's ordinary sequence, so-called traveled work. There's this incredible pressure to push the planes out the door, and, you know, mistakes are made when that happens. Federal investigators probing the Alaska incident have identified traveled work as a liability when it comes to airplane quality. On this, Boeing CFO Brian West said recently, For years, we prioritized the movement of the airplane through the factory over getting it done right, and that's got to change. This stuff matters. And in an address to employees after the door plug incident, Boeing CEO David Calhoun said, I know I'm preaching to the choir here. This isn't a lecture, not by any stretch. It's nothing more than a reminder of the seriousness with which we have to approach our work. Calhoun has since said he would step down as CEO at the end of the year as a part of a broader company shakeup. The head of Boeing's commercial aircraft business and the executive in charge of the 737 factory have also stepped aside. Another layer of inspection, the Organization Designation Authorization, or ODA. Their job is to look at the finished work by the Boeing employees and the Boeing quality team and check to see whether or not the airplane conforms with federal safety rules. The ODA's responsibilities are approved by the FAA, but members aren't employed by the FAA. These are Boeing employees who represent the FAA. They report to the FAA, even though they're paid by Boeing. The FAA Inspectors Union has previously said this structure effectively lets the fox guard the hen house. There have been problems in the past where these ODA employees who work for the FAA felt pressure from management. Boeing has said it's made changes to prevent such interference. But a recent FAA panel's report said there are still opportunities for retaliation to occur. And there is a disconnect between Boeing senior management and other members of the organization on safety culture. Boeing said it has taken steps to foster its safety culture, but there is still more work to do. The final layer of inspection on Boeing planes, the FAA itself. While the plane is being assembled, FAA inspectors check Boeing's quality system. By and large, it's an auditing operation. They're reviewing paperwork. They're not actually inspecting aircraft. But the FAA does inspect each plane before it's delivered. After a flight test, the plane is given to FAA inspectors for final approval. They do what's called an airworthiness certificate inspection, which is, it's like, you know, if you build a house, at the end of the house being built, you do a walkthrough. A retired FAA inspector said in the final walkthrough on an aircraft, inspectors typically pick 10 to 20 items to double check against the plane's approved specifications. If those items look good, the plane is cleared. If not, the FAA may conduct further inspections. It is Boeing's job, not the FAA's job, to make quality aircraft. As somebody who used to work at the agency told me, we are not Boeing's quality department. 
Before the Alaska Airlines blowout, the FAA had eight inspectors assigned to the Renton site, which employs roughly 13,000 Boeing workers. That's not enough to monitor the restaurant operations at the site, much less the facility where they're building planes. Following the door plug incident, the FAA sent 20 more inspectors to the factory in Renton and pledged a more hands-on approach. There's a lot of pressure from Congress and the public to make sure that the FAA is going to push Boeing to fix itself. When asked about its changes, FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker said, We are migrating to a system that is, I would call, audit plus. So we're going to have more of a surveillance component where inspectors are actually on the ground talking to people and, and looking at the work that's being done. In the weeks following the Alaska Airlines incident, more loose parts, misdrilled holes, a federal investigation and a criminal probe into the blowout have put more pressure on the plane maker to get this right. There's a lot at stake, and this is why we're saying, you know, don't be fooled. Don't, don't think just because we patched up the Alaska plane, you know, incident that everything is good. There's a lot of work that needs to get done. And, and the good news is all these things are fixable. Boeing's proposed changes to its quality process remain to be seen. Boeing's CFO said, We're undertaking comprehensive actions so that we can move forward to strengthen quality and build confidence. That includes deliberately slowing down aircraft production at the factory, as Boeing faces increased scrutiny from regulators. We've increased our audit and our oversight of Boeing pretty significantly since January 5th. If we see something that requires us to, to cease production or pull something down, we'll do that. For now, planes are still rolling off the line, but the FAA has put Boeing's plan to increase production here on ice. The FAA has choked off Boeing's ability to produce cash flow until it is satisfied that Boeing can produce quality, safe aircraft.